Hello dear students, this is grade 11 mathematics on unit 3, coordinate geometry. On today's lesson, we are going to see equation of ellipse. After revising this lesson, you are expected to write equation of ellipse in standard form and draw or sketch the graph of ellipse. So let's continue to the lesson. First, let's see what ellipse is. An ellipse is, it is the locus of all points in a plane said that the sum of the distance from two given fixed points in a plane is constant. These two fixed points, we call them foci. So, it is the locus of all points in a plane says that the distance from two given fixed points is constant. These two fixed points, we call them foci. So, here, we have this one, this ellipse. If you take any point here, arbitrary point, x, y, the sum of the distance from these two fixed points, one fixed point is here, the other one is here, we call them foci. So this distance and this distance, assume this distance is d1 and distance is d2, the sum of the distance d1 and d2 it is constant it is constant by the way this constant is equal to 2a it gives you this length the length v up to v prime so let's see the terms here f prime and f we call them for sign and v prime v v prime b we call them vertices of the ellipse. And the largest distance is V prime V, we call it as the major axis. And the small distance B, B prime is called the minor axis. And C, the intersection point of B, B prime and V, V prime is, we call it center of this ellipse. Okay. The other one, CV and CV prime, this one. CV and CV prime, we call them semi-major axis. Semi-major axis, and they are denoted by A. CV and CV prime, here, CB and CV prime, we call them this semi-minor axis, and we denote them by B small letter B. So here, C B and C prime they are same minor axis and denoted by B. And the chord A A prime, the chord A A prime, which passes through the focus perpendicular to the major axis, we call it this lattice rectum. We call it this lattice rectum. So the chord A A prime is perpendicular to the major axis. It passes through the focus, and we call it this lattice rectum of the ellipse. The distance from center to focus, look. The distance from center to this focus or center to the other focus is constant. It is C. It's denoted by C. So it's denoted by C. The eccentricity of an ellipse usually denoted by the letter E, and it is 
the ratio of the distance between two foci to the length of major axis, which means that eccentricity is equal to the distance between foci is to c. Look, the distance between this foci from c to f is c, from c to f is c, so the total distance is to c. Therefore, eccentricity is given by it is 2c divided by the distance between the, the two foci divided by the major axis. The major axis is the distance from v prime to v. So from c to v is a, so the whole distance is 2a. So the length of major axis is 2a. So 2c over 2a, taking this ratio, you have c over a. Therefore, the eccentricity is given by C over A. And A, B, and C have this relation. If we have this ellipsasium, it's a focus to let this A, B, C take this triangle this from center to f is this c we have c this is right angle these two triangles are congruent by side angle side since b is a common side for both we have c and 90 degree here on both triangles therefore it is these two are congruent and the sum of this distance d1 and this d2 d1 plus d2 gives you 2a d1 plus d2 is equal to this the major axis based on the definition so since these two are equal so A plus A gives you 2A, therefore this side is A and this side is A. So taking the triangle, one of the triangle, this one is B, this distance, and this distance is C, and this part is this A. Using Pythagoras theorem, A squared is equal to B squared plus C squared. It gives you this relation. A squared is equal to B squared plus C squared. So let's continue to the next part. Now let's see the standard form of equation of ellipse with center h comma k and major axis parallel to x axis. It's given by this equation. Please try to see how this formula is derived on your text. So the standard form of equation of ellipse with center h comma k axis parallel to x axis means it is such type of ellipse. This axis is a major axis, it is horizontal, it's parallel to x-axis. And its center, here it is, center is, let me write it here, it is center, h comma k, center h comma k, and the values a and b are constants, so uh, to write the equation of this ellipse, we need to know the variables or the constants a and b. So when you uh, drive the equation, you will have this one, it is x minus h is all squared, over a squared plus y minus k is all squared over b squared is equal to 1. This equation of ellipse whose major axis is horizontal with center h comma k. The standard equation of ellipse with center h comma k and major axis parallel to y axis is given by this form. In this case, the ellipse has this form. So the major axis is a vertical part to y axis. In that case, the equation becomes y minus k is all squared. When it is parallel to y axis, start from y. y minus k is all squared over a squared plus x minus h is all squared over b squared is equal to 1. When it is horizontal, it's parallel to x axis, start from this one x. x minus h is all squared over a squared plus y minus k is all squared over b squared is equal to 1. Now let's see example for this. Here, we say, Write equation of ellipse with foci negative 3, 0 and 3, 0 and the length of major axis is 8. 
So, let us sketch roughly. Here we have 2 for psi minus 3 comma 0 and 3 comma 0. So, since the focus are of horizontal direction, the ellipse major axis is also on horizontal. So, you have the ellipse this form. To write the equation of this ellipse, we need to find the center. To find center, the center is this center. It's a midpoint of the foci. So the center becomes 3 plus minus 3, 3 plus negative 3 over 2, comma, y coordinate, 0 plus 0 over 2. So we have found the center to be it is 3 plus negative 3, 0, 0 over 2, 0, 0, comma, 0. This is the center. Now we need to find the other variables, a, b, maybe c. From this, you can see that the value of c, the value of c is the distance from center to one of the focus. This center is 0, 0. The distance is this 3 units, move 3 units. So c is this 3. Therefore, you have c 3. And And major axis is given here, it is 8. The length of major axis means it is this, the whole distance. It is 2a, the length of major axis is 2a. Therefore, 2a is given to be this 8. From this, a is it is 8 over 2, it is 4. Now to write the equation, we need to find b. We know that how a, b, and c are related. Therefore, here, a squared is equal to this b squared plus c squared. So we need to find b. So b squared gives you this a squared minus c squared. So this implies that b squared is equal to, or b squared is equal to a squared, a is it is 4, it is 4 squared is 16, 16 minus c squared, where is c? It is 3, 3 squared, so 9. Therefore, b is equal to the square root of 16 minus 9, it is 7. b is this, the square root of 7. So now we can write the equation. This is, it's ellipse whose major axis is horizontal, power to x-axis. In that case, the formula, the standard equation, is this x minus h, the whole squared over a squared, plus y minus k, the whole squared over b squared, is equal to 1. Therefore, here, x minus our h is 0, so the center is 0, 0, so x minus 0, the whole squared over a, our a is 4, 4 squared, 4 squared plus y minus k, it is 0, y minus 0, the whole squared over b squared, our b squared of 7, squared of 7 squared is 7, gives you this 1, so finally the equation becomes x squared over 16 plus y squared over 7 is equal to 1. So this will be the equation of ellipse uh, with foci negative 3, 0 and 3, 0 and the length of major axis it is 8. Now let's continue to the next example. Okay, here it says write the equation of ellipse with center 1,4 vertices at 3, 4 and 1, 13. So, 
to right, we have center. So we need to find A and B. So to determine A and B and its axis, whether it's parallel to Y axis and X axis, we have to sketch rough graph of this ellipse. So let's draw roughly. One, two, three. One, two, three. Negative one, negative two, maybe negative three. Here, four, eight. Let me write the scale like this. So the center is at one comma four. We have this center. The center is at this point at one comma four. Okay, and the vertex one of the vertices at three comma four. One of the vertices is here. It is at three comma four, and the other one is it is at comma at one comma thirteen. So one comma thirteen near to here. One of the vertex at this point. This one it is three comma four. One of the vertex it is at three comma four. The other vertex here it is at one comma thirteen. This point is one comma thirteen, and this center it is at one comma four. So as you can see, the ellipse has this form. This design short, and this one is the longer vertex is here. Therefore, the ellipse has this form. It has this form, the shortest vertex is here and the longer vertex is here. So from this, you can find this distance is B, the smaller one, and this distance is A. So since we know this one, this point, the center, the center is this at 1,4. So let me write it here, 1,4. The distance from this point to this point is this, it's a horizontal line, so y coordinate is constant, so it simply takes the difference between the x coordinate, 3 minus 1 gives you 2. This is small, so it is b is 2. So from this, you can see b is 2, a, this is 13, 1, 13. So this distance, it's a vertical distance, x coordinate is constant, y coordinate is this changing, is moving up, how much length is, takes the difference 13 minus 4, it is 9, the length of the same major axis is 9. Therefore, now, I can write the equation, since we have center, A and B, and its axis is parallel to y axis, in that case, when the axis is parallel to y axis, the equation will be let right here, y minus k the whole square plus x minus h the whole square over a squared over b squared is equal to 1. So the equation will be y minus k y coordinates 4 minus 4 y minus 4 the whole squared over a squared, our a is 9, 9 squared is 81, plus x minus h, x minus our h is the center, x coordinate is 1, the whole squared, divided by b, we have found b to be 2, 2 squared is this, 4, uh, therefore, is equal to 1, therefore, this is this, This is the equation of the ellipse with vertices with center 1,4 and vertices 3,4 and 1,13. Now let's see one uh, last example. Now let's see this example. Given the equation of ellipse x squared minus 6x plus 9y squared minus 72y plus 144 
is equal to zero. Then determine center of ellipse, foci of ellipse, vertices in points of lattice rectum. Sketch the ellipse and find its eccentricity. So to find these values, first I need to write this equation of ellipse in standard form. We have the equation x squared minus 6x plus 9y squared minus 72y plus 144 is equal to 0. Apply completing square method to write this in standard form. So this becomes this x squared minus 6x plus take half of this term squared, add half of this term squared is minus 3 squared is 9. This part. Plus, to write this in a completing square form, take 9 outside. You have this one. y squared dividing by 9. You have this one, this minus 8y. And 144 divided by 9 is this, 16. So this is equal to this, 0. So this can be written in this form. This is a perfect square. Half of the midterm square gives you this one. So this becomes x minus 3, the whole squared, plus here 9 times. This also it's a perfect square form. Since we add 9 here, I have to add 9 on both sides. We have add 9, so you have to add 9 on the other side since to make the equation not change or equivalent. So this can be written in a, in a square form since it's a perfect square. Half of this is negative 4 squared 16. It gives you this one. Therefore, this can be written in this form. y minus 4, the whole squared gives you 9. Divide whole expression by 9. You get this one. It is x minus 3, the whole squared, divided by 9. Or let me write it 9 as 3 squared. Plus, this is y minus 4, the whole squared, divided by, when you divide by 9, it becomes 1. Let me write this as 1 square 4 is equal to 1. So this is a standard form of the equation of the ellipse. So now from this you can see that you can find a3 and b is one smaller and you can find c. So here 1 this a is equal to this 3 and b, b is equal to this, equal to this 1. And we can find c also, relating a, b, and c, a squared is equal to b squared plus c squared. So c squared is equal to a squared minus b squared. So this is squared minus this squared under square root. 3 squared is this, 9 minus 1 squared is this, 1. 9 minus 1 is 8 under the square root. C is the square root of 8. Let me write C as it is. We have found these terms. Now, let's proceed to the answer. The first question, find the center of ellipse. The center, it is opposite of these two, 3, 4. So the center of ellipse is this, 3, 4. This will be the center. Vertices of ellipse, to find vertices, I need to draw the ellipse. So, what type of ellipse it is? Its major axis is parallel to x axis, horizontal. It's x squared over a squared form. So, uh, the ellipse has this form. It has this form.
we have found this center. It is the center is it is three comma four. Three comma four. So we can find these points, the vertices, even the focus here. Okay, the foci. Now, here, A is it is 3. So, this distance is A. Therefore, it's a horizontal. You move 3,42 by 3 units. So, this point becomes it is 3 plus 3,4. That's 6,4. 6,4. And this point it moves three units to the left since this length it is a it is three so move three units to the left you will have this one this point becomes this three minus three units to the left three minus three comma four y coordinate will not be changed horizontal line and this point it's a vertical in a vertical direction, x is constant, so it is 3, comma, y coordinate, the center moves by how much unit? b unit, this distance is b, so b unit, you add how much? 1, 1, b is 1, therefore, this point becomes this 4 plus 1, therefore, this vertex is 3, comma, 5. The other one? This vertices is a vertical line. X coordinate constant for all vertices, center and the other vertices. So it is 3. But it's Y coordinate, this center it is it's Y coordinate is 4. So you move B unit down, 1 unit down. So you subtract 1, 4 minus 1. This point is 4 minus 1. That's this 3, comma 3. Okay, what else? Focus, F and F prime. This center, so you're moving C unit. F far from C unit, from center. Therefore, it's a horizontal, X changes in horizontal direction. Therefore, the coordinate of X here it is 3. 3, you add C unit, that's the square root of 8. C is square root of 8, comma, Y coordinate it is constant, C is 4, horizontal direction. Again, the other foci, this center is this as 3, 4. You are moving C unit to the left, so you change the coordinate of X by C unit, or subtract C unit. So, its X coordinate is 3, and you subtract square root of 8 C unit, that means Y coordinate is this constant. Its Y coordinate is 4, so it's the foci. One of the both sides is 3 minus square root of 8, comma 4. The other one is this. 3 plus square root of 8, comma 4. Okay. So, the vertices, we have found the vertices, the four vertices. 0, comma 4, 3, comma 5, 3, comma 3, 6, comma 4. Okay. Now, for side, we have also found the four side. 3 minus square root of 8, comma 4 and 3 plus square root of 8, comma 4. What else? In points of lat rectum. I'll leave this for you to try. I'll tell you how you do this one. To find the end points of lat rectum, this is a lat rectum. You need to find these end points. To find these end points, since this it is a vertical line, its x coordinate is constant. The x coordinate it is 3 plus the square root of 8. Comma, we don't know the other variable here. And again, here it is 3 plus the square root of 8, comma, find y coordinate. How? Put this value, 3 plus square root of 8, on this equation. If you put the value of this point here, you can easily find the value of y. 3 plus square root of 8, when you put 3 plus square root of 8, 3 cancels out, square root of 8 square. So you can easily solve for y, you will find two values, 
one of the values, you put one of the values here and the other. Uh, so you will have the endpoint of lattice rectum. Even you can find slings using the distance uh, formula. And the other one, we have sketched the ellipse. This one is the ellipse. And eccentricity, eccentricity of ellipse is given by, it is C over A. Since we have found C, C is square root of 8. So the eccentricity is square root of 8 divided by A, A3. So the eccentricity of this ellipse will be this, the square root of 8 over 3. So this is all about today's lesson. And let's see the main points that we have raised today. The first point is the standard form of equation of ellipse with center h comma k and major axis. Power to x axis is given by x minus h is all squared over a squared plus y minus k is all squared over b squared is equal to 1. And the standard form of equation of ellipse with center h comma k and major axis parallel to y axis is given by y minus k the whole squared over a squared plus x minus h the whole squared over b squared is equal to 1. So this is all about today's lesson. Please read examples on page 97 up to 99. And in addition to that, please try to do exercise 3.5 on page Hundred. So this is all about today's lesson. Until next time, goodbye.